All right, guys. So yesterday I gave my thoughts on the whole Dr. Disrespect situation. I obviously expressed how disappointed I was in the whole situation and why I reacted the way I did. Um, I told you guys I was a fan of Dr. Disrespect. I bought his merch. I was a member of the Champions Club for quite some time. I've been watching Dr. Disrespect for like 14 years. Uh, there was obviously gaps in that time where like I hadn't watched him for a bit, but in more recent times, I'd say in the last seven years, it was very rare for me to miss a stream. I'd always have him in the background or I'd watch his uploads, even when he came over to YouTube um, from Twitch, because I don't like going on Twitch very often unless it's like to support my friends. I would watch him. So I was a Dr. Disrespect fan. And when everything came out initially, when there, was any, there wasn't anything confirmed, I ran to Dr. Disrespect's aid. And I was like, there's just, I just don't believe it. When I was speaking to people privately, they were like, no, nah, wait, wait, Mike, wait until you get some more conclusive evidence. I was like, no, nah, man, Doc didn't do that shit. Obviously, it turns out that he did. Now, there was a lot of comments on the videos, on the video that I made yesterday, a lot of comments. And there were some comments that really shocked me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put these people's names up because I don't want to get anybody in any trouble. Uh, there is one person where I pinned their comment because it was just so ridiculous that I don't care if, you know, if people see that comment. But I've got a couple of screenshots here, so I'm going to address a couple of things. But I want to go over a couple of things first because I like talking to you guys, whether we agree or disagree. And because of the magnitude of comments, like the, the amount that came in, I couldn't get to everything. So I'll go over some like things that people were saying. Firstly, I want to make this very clear. I don't like the Twitch platform. I don't support the Twitch platform. I've made videos about how they operate before. I don't stream on there. I don't upload. I do have an account on there because before I knew about all of this stuff, uh, Twitch used to be called, I think, Justin TV, and then it became Twitch. So I was, I was on Twitch ages ago, before any of this madness of women was going on on there. Uh, so I think in the last, like, maybe 10 years, I haven't really used Twitch properly. Maybe, maybe 10, 7 years, I don't know, something like that. But Regardless, I don't. I don't like Twitch. I don't like their the way they they unfairly ban some people and then they just leave girls on there to do whatever they want. I got comments on here of people saying, "Well, Twitch allows people to go on there in their bikinis, women to go on there in the bikinis. They know young kids are watching Twitch, uh, Twitch streams, and they're basically funneling these young men and some young women to their OnlyFans." And I hear that. And that's why I said, fuck Twitch. I don't like Twitch as a platform. They leave these hot tub streamers on there. And yeah, it's that's not good. My problem with that talking point is that whilst I agree with you that we need to get the soft core porn, because that's basically what it is, off of there, because we know where they're sending these people. We know that a lot of kids are watching these things. Although I agree with that, that's not an excuse for, oh, they do this, so why is everyone so angry over here? I mean, part of the reason why I got annoyed by it is because Dr. Disrespect actually meant something to me. These idiots on, on Twitch that are unclothing themselves and getting in hot tubs or doing that ASMR garbage, yeah, they're, they're morons. They know what they're doing. They know they're funneling children over to their OnlyFans. They'll pretend like they don't. We all know that they are. I don't support those clowns at all. And I don't support the Twitch staff or anybody that, anybody that does stuff like that. They know what they're doing. Any of the girls that are on there with their cleavage out, purposefully like doing things to have young men come in there and uh, and then move them over. I don't support any of those people. I, as far as I'm concerned, they should not be on Twitch. OnlyFans exist for a reason. I, I don't like OnlyFans either, but it, people like this are going to exist. You may as well give them their own website, let them go over there. They shouldn't be on Twitch. The fact that Twitch has allowed this to go on for so long I don't support any of that stuff. I think it's nonsense and I'd like to see them all just disappear. Just gone from Twitch altogether. Uh, I saw some of you saying, why are women treated differently to men? Because obviously this Dr. Disrespect thing has blown up. I think his tweet has over 100 million views now. So it's all eyes on the dock. And I agree with you. Men are treated very differently to women. But that doesn't mean I'm going to come on here just because a man has done something and historically we get it more harsh than women and shrug it off. The women should get the same treatment. Now, I'm not in control of how 
uh, the police work or the way laws work. This is just my personal opinion on the situations that have unfolded. Someone brought up, uh, what's that streamer's name or oh, YouTuber's like Colleen, I think her name is. I've got it up somewhere. Colleen Ballinger. I remember when all of that story, that story came out about Colleen and she had basically been found to be doing things with kids or saying things to kids that she shouldn't have been. I remember reading about it thinking, yeah, this woman should not be allowed to be on YouTube. She shouldn't be allowed to be on Twitch. She shouldn't be allowed to operate anyway. She should be blacklisted. Now, I'm not YouTube. There's nothing I can do about that. All of these women that are in schools that are uh, messing with 14-year-old boys and they get a slap on the wrist compared to when men do it, I think that's messed up as well. I think young boys, the problem with that one is when you're a young boy in school, the, the fantasy of having your teacher do something with you sounds cool but when you when you're an adult and you're looking at the children obviously those women are pedophiles they should be dealt with exactly the same as the way they deal with men now the law doesn't unfortunately it says that it does on paper the bigger problem is public opinion the public just don't seem to care as much when women do it and they should i agree with you guys in the comments that are saying that uh why is it men that get it so harsh and not women that doesn't excuse dr disrespects and that doesn't excuse anybody that does these things. That Colleen, Belinja, or whatever her name is. Anyone that does these things, in my opinion, they should be in the same boat. So I agree with you on that, but it's not a whataboutism sort of thing. I, I'm not I'm not entertaining that sort of bullshit. Just because they get to get away with stuff does not mean that we shouldn't hold ourselves to a higher standard. I agree with you that women do get treated differently when it comes to these things, and they shouldn't be messing with minors either. The exact same sentiment that I had towards the doc is the exact same sentiment I have towards these women. The law sucks, and the way the public perceive men and women is wrong when, when those sort of things happen. So that's just something that needs to change across the board. There's nothing that I can do about that. So I'm going to move on to some of the questions now that I got regarding this that really just threw me off now i'll say again dr disrespect was my favorite streamer he was my favorite streamer no one even came close dr Disres disrespect streams were so good that he would have been in a tier of his own the entertainment value the amount of work that he put into it and bear in mind these are games that i have no interest in playing you will never catch me watching those games anywhere else i purely watched it for the doc so I, I held him in very high regard as an entertainer. And then as I sat and I listened to him more and I would listen to the things that he said, I was like, this guy's pretty intelligent. Like he's, he's not somebody that sort of bows his head to people. He's not somebody that is afraid of being outspoken. And I respect those things. I respect anybody that will go into a public platform and say things that people might not like, but they believe it, whether I agree with them or not. And so I really grew to like the Dr. Disrespect personality, like the character. So it didn't bring me joy to make that video about him yesterday, especially because the one that I made about him previously was defending him, saying there's just no way. And even people that I was talking to on Discord and they were saying, Mike, I think you should relax. I was saying, nah, man, the doc ain't gonna do that, I'm confident. I was wrong, I eat my words. I'm more than happy to be proven wrong with those things. If evidence comes to light, then my attention switches to justice for the minor. I don't care who it was, I don't, I don't care what my, um, how, how much respect I had for that person. And there was a stupid comment that I got in here about virtue signaling. And this is actually the comment that I pinned uh, because this comment is, is a little bit sick and twisted in my opinion. So we're gonna get into also, I apologize if there's noise in the background, there is a barbecue outside and there's a barbecue across the road. So, and this comment comes from an individual called Liquid Snake. Now I did pin this comment again cause I found it to be really just like, what the hell? And he goes, let's stop virtue signaling. So I'm, I'm just gonna read that part. And I'm going to say to this imbecile, you are no different than the people that I make videos on, like the Kotaku types, the Elisa Makantes, where we're saying, get your DEI nonsense out of our games. Sweet Baby Inc. needs to disappear. I've been very vocal in saying that we don't want those things in our games. And what do the people that support them do when they come to my videos? Oh, you're virtue signaling. You can't win with people. This is the problem. You can say something that you genuinely believe. There's no left or right politics driving what I'm saying. It's just that I think it's a wrong thing to do with, with their DEI and the, the SBI nonsense that's going on. And so I speak on it. And the people that want to defend Kotaku and Sweet Baby Inc. and all them, they'll be like, oh, you're virtue signaling, you're virtue signaling. And then when you speak out against someone that you had a lot of respect and high praise for, you're virtue signaling. There's no brain cells. There's none. You can't. You can't have a single critical thought or you can't step outside the box or say something like, yo, he may have been my favorite streamer, but this is just wrong. You gotta be virtue signaling. Virtue signaling for what exactly? The video got what, 8,000 views? 
that's not that different than a lot of the other videos on my page where they range from like two to ten thousand views so virtue signaling to, to who exactly what the people that have been insulting this whole time dr disrespects detractors the twitch employees they can also go and fuck themselves cody the person that brought the information forward that imbecile had been sitting on this information since like Tw uh, dr disrespect got banned right cody is now asking for forgiveness for that he was using that information as a way to sell tickets at his gigs or his concerts or whatever dangling sensitive information like that over people to further his career so cody respectfully you can keep your apology you can shove it up your ass you are you are as much of an idiot as the rest of them for you to do that having that information apology rejected this person then went on to say 17 is only illegal in half the country in some states the legal age is 16 and then he put a winky face now again this is the pinned comment on that video so you can see it for yourself are we really pretending that there's some magical line where a child suddenly becomes an adult or that or that there isn't a plethora of 17 year old 304s i believe a 304 is like i think it's a woman that sleeps around or like gets with guys for money or I've heard them say it on Fresh and Fit before. It's like a, a whore, basically. It's the girl that's this gold digging, sleeping around, has a high body count or something like that. That have more experience than the average 20-something-year-old. Now, this is a bizarre comment. And I've seen a couple of comments like this about, oh, but 17-year-olds, sometimes they look like 25-year-olds. These, these comments are so stupid. It's not about how they look. I understand that girls can develop very quickly. I remember being 17 and my fellow 17 year old friends, they had developed very, very quickly. It's not about how they look. It's what's going on up here. If somebody was to develop at the age of 14, does that give you justification? What are you talking about, you creep? What the hell are you guys going on about? This is mind boggling to me. What, if her boobs are big enough, that justifies it? What, what are we talking about here? It's about the mentality, okay? A 17-year-old is fresh out of school. A 17-year-old and a 35 or however old he, he is, they should not be doing a thing. All you're doing is thinking of your, uh, with your dick. That's the problem here. The mind of a 17-year-old is not going to be compatible with the mind of a 35-year-old. It's just not. You can say whatever you want. You can come up with whatever excuse you want to come up with. They're just not going to. Even if a 17-year-old has gotten around and she's slept with half the locker room. Is is that your justification for, oh, she's got experience, so. You said here in this comment, are we really pretending that there's some magical line? There is a line. And as an adult, you should be able to work it out. Now, let me ask you a question. If they drop the age of consent to 11 years old in most states in the United States, do you think you're justified? What if that 11 year old had produced boobs at a very early age to the degree that she looks like, let's say, an 18 year old is that justification for you not the fact that she's an 11 year old not the fact that she's mentally 11 years old just that she's presenting as an 18 year old there's also another comment here that says that's bs if dr disrespect was in the uk it would have been fine frowned upon because he's old enough to be her father but it's fine when a girl decides it's time there is no stopping them what do you mean there is no stopping them <laughs> i'm sorry if a girl decides when it's time, there's no stopping them. So you're telling me a 16-year-old girl decides that she's got her eyes on you. There's nothing you can do to stop her. What are we talking about here, guys? Nothing you can do to stop her. There's plenty you can do to stop her. First of all, you can tell her to jog the fuck on. Get on your BMX and start peddling. That's what you tell her to do. Or if it's online, you just block her. The minute you know how old she is, you just block her. If she's trying to do that. What do you mean you can't stop her? Guy, we're grown men. We're grown men. These are little girls. Am I losing my mind or something? And yeah, the age of consent in the UK is 16. Like I said in the previous video, it should be raised. 16 is too young. It's too young. And I know that that there are people in this country because we the, the pregnancy rate in some areas in the UK is very high at a very young age, younger than it should be. There's problems here. So I don't even know how you fix those problems, but just because the law says you can do something does not mean you should do it. Every country has its own laws. There's certain countries that you'll go to, like for example, his age of consent is 13. Are you going to go to and have relations with a 13 year old because the law says it's okay? What? What? And then you come back to America or you come back to the UK and then it's like, oh, 
nothing happened. And then somebody does something in the UK, you damn them because they're with a 15 year old, for example, but you slept with a 13 year old. And then your excuse is, well, I did nothing wrong in the eyes of the law. And, and finally, on this subject, before we move on to some of the other talking points, I got this comment here saying, to be fair, man, it happens all the time. Women don't age well in terms of looks. So high level guys usually date a lot younger if given the option. Of course, this age gap is quite extreme. But again, if it's legal and she wasn't a minor by whatever law is over that over that state, then technically no wrongdoing occurred. You can disagree with the age gap if you want, but there wasn't anything objectively wrong if that was the case besides him being married, of course, which, yeah, is bad. But we have no proper ideas of the contents of these messages, so it's weird, sure. But if she was over the legal age, nothing seriously bad, to be fair. Let me ask you guys a question. Any of you that have daughters, if you found out that your 17-year-old daughter was texting a grown man inappropriate messages, would you not be pissed? I'm pretty sure you would. If you found out your little sister was talking to a grown man on Twitch and they were sending inappropriate messages, would you be pissed? Would you say, well, I mean, the state says it's legal, so... By that logic, you can go to an eight, to a country that has the age of consent that is around 13, 14 years old and you can do what you want there. And then if someone calls you out and says, but she's 13, you're going to go, well, the law said it's OK. Guys, this is nonsense. This is nonsense. We don't know what was in Dr. Disrespect's text messages or whatever he was sending to this girl. We know there weren't no pictures sent. But if you have to point out that there were no pictures sent, what does that tell you? The messages were probably very inappropriate. The way he worded it, it sounded like he wasn't giving us the whole truth. That's what it sounds like to me. Now, there was a couple of other comments that I got saying, did he know how old the girl was? If Dr. Disrespect did not know how old this girl was, he would have led with that. He would have led with that. Let me ask you, if you were found to be inappropriately texting a 17 year old and you thought she was 18, wouldn't you lead with that? The whole world was looking at you and you didn't know how old she was. Wouldn't you tell people? I didn't know, though. I honestly thought I was talking to an 18 year old, which I would be willing to be like, OK, he didn't know because you have to be 18 to go on Twitch whispers. So she obviously lied and got in somehow. But he didn't lead with that. Don't you think when everybody, everyone online in this space, whether you watch this Dr. Disrespect or not, was tuned into what was going on? Don't you think he would have led with? I didn't know. He did know. Of course he knew. He's not stupid. He wasn't born yesterday. If I did something like that and people came to find out about it and I didn't know her age, that's the first thing I would say to people. But I didn't know. I thought I was talking to an 18 year old. He knew. He knew. Why would you leave that vital information out? You drop this bombshell on Twitter, right? You drop an absolute pipe bomb on Twitter. A tweet. That is it's probably one of the most viewed, it's going to be one of the most viewed tweets of all time, I'm willing to bet. It's over 100 million views right now. And you don't tell us that you didn't know. I'm not buying it. And I'm sorry, guys, but this is coming as somebody that has been, it's coming from somebody that's been a fan of Dr. Disrespect since I was in school. Okay, I'm a grown ass man now. And I stayed watching this guy. Had him on in the background when I'm doing random things. Fell asleep watching his streams. Had him on when I was in school. Largely, the reason that I got into streaming was because of Dr. Disrespect. So this isn't coming from somebody that wants to capitalize on this man's downfall. But the fact that people are defending this is insane to me. It's insane. And let me just make something clear before we move on. I'm not here to pander or virtue signal to any of you. Okay? I'm very appreciative of all the... Uh, subscribers that I've gotten, all the love that my videos get, uh, the conversations that I've been included in, all the people I've been able to connect with. But I don't need to pander to anybody and I'm not going to. And I quite frankly, I don't care who I upset with this. This is what I believe. I'm not telling you what to believe. If you think that it's OK to do those things, then you go ahead and do that. And, you know, whatever happens to you happens. That's your life. I'm not telling people what to think. I'm also not in charge of what is right and wrong. But this is my YouTube channel. And these are my thoughts. And this is what I think of people that do these things. I told people before that I have a hard stance on these things. If Dr. Disrespect went into Twitch whispers and he threatened to beat somebody up, I'd say that, don't mind, don't care, still support the doc. If he went into Twitch whispers and he said, he said, bruv, I know where you live, you've been talking shit about me, let's meet here and, and doc beat the fuck out of somebody, 
I'll be like, right, well, grown men, they throw hands. Whatever. There's so many things that the doc could have done and other people that I have a lot of respect or I admire could do. And I'd be like, don't care. And I'd say that openly. I also don't care if people agree with that or not. I'm not telling you guys what to believe, where to stand, who to support. Support who you want. This is just my thoughts on this. But I'm not going to virtue signal to uh, Dr. Disrespect's detractors. I could care less who likes him or, or dislikes him. And I'm not going to virtue signal to people that come into my comments. If you agree with what I'm saying, you agree with it. If you don't, you don't. Now, there is something that is interesting about this for me. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm not aware that these phone companies and these apps, they're not harvesting your data. But they sat on this information and they didn't say anything. They didn't go to the police, which even if you did go to the police, they probably wouldn't have done anything. Like we had a break in here not too long ago and we called the police and they did nothing. And which, what was funny about that was the guys were in the area because they came back. The, the police, are like, they've got, they have way too many requests that come through. They probably don't even have the resources. And, um, and the ones that showed up didn't even like they give a shit. Them taking this to the police, I don't think anything would have come of it unless pictures were sent, unless something like really egregious was arranged in there. Inappropriate messages, like sexually charged messages that are somewhat inappropriate, where there's... You haven't said you're meeting them, but there's, there's clearly intention. Like if you put two and two together, there's clear intention there. They're not going to do anything about that. And Twitch is going to protect their image. But it makes you wonder, how many people are they protecting to not damage their own image? I mean, they do enough damage to themselves as it is, but that sort of thing could really tank them. That's what I want to know. Like, is, is Twitch protecting people? Because that, be, that would be interesting. Now, I, like I said, I don't like the Twitch platform. I don't like what they promote on there. I don't like the fact that it's a soft core version of OnlyFans. I don't like the fact that they are aware that there are little boys and girls on there and that they are watching these Twitch streamers who are in their bikinis and then they're getting funneled over to OnlyFans. So as far as I'm concerned, Cody and Twitch can collectively go and fuck themselves. Everyone that is celebrating Dr. Disrespect's downfall, I also, I'm not down with those people either because it doesn't bring me joy to watch this man's career crumble before our very eyes. I wouldn't support somebody for that long and then be joyful that they have basically fumbled everything. But it's the reality of the situation. These weirdos see it as a W. And I guess it is to them because they hated this man. He gave them what they want. There's nothing we can really do about that. But I'm also for the I'm not gonna play for a team. That's that's the thing that a lot of people do. They there's obviously the right and the left, they're always butting heads. And when something comes to light, instead of us just being like, no, this is just wrong. Regardless of what side they're on, regardless of who thinks they got the W or who's going to take the L, instead of just saying, this is wrong, we should condemn it. It's like, well, those guys have been after him for so long, so we can't be seen to be agreeing with them. It's like, how are we ever going to find the middle ground if we can't just admit when something is wrong? In closing, because there was a lot of videos, a lot of uh, um, comments on that video about did he know her age? I believe he knew her age. You would lead with that information if you had it. If he didn't know what her age was, he would have started off by saying, I didn't know. That is such vital information. I agree with you guys, men and women are treated very differently. This level of vitriol was not levied at other female content creators that have been caught doing things unsavory of children. I agree with you guys. That does not mean that we let off Dr. Disrespect. It just means that we need to be harsher on women. I agree with you, Twitch is a, a mess of a platform. I, I would encourage people to just, you know, not allow their children to go on there because they can just lie and say I'm 18 and watch uh, hot tub streamers. So I agree with you guys on that. I agree that men get cancelled over these things. Uh, women don't feel the brunt of it as much. There's plenty of examples. That Colleen one is just one, but we've seen this before. Uh, we've seen it with teachers as well. We are, I was reading a story about a different teacher like messing around with a 14-year-old almost every week in the newspapers. People just kind of shrugging it off. And for those of you that are saying, oh, 17 year olds, they can appear as 23 year olds and rich men, you know, they, they want to get with fertile young girls. Women are fertile in their 20s, guys. Okay, you don't need to go for something that's fresh out of school. Now, you can think whatever you want. I don't care. This is my YouTube channel. This is what I think on it. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anyone. But when it comes to messing with children, Okay, when it comes to inappropriately texting children and your responses to me are, oh, well, fertility and she looked. I've actually met somebody before that said to me, yeah, but look at her. 
that was their response when i said to him bro she's underage he said yeah but look at her because she was very developed i was like but it's a child though like up here we're not thinking about what's going on up here they do not have the capacity to think the way adults do that's the problem here and if your line is the law says it's okay then basically what you're telling me is that if you go to do x y and z of a 13 year old i shouldn't look at you sideways whatever whatever i'm not i'm not entertaining that bullshit so that's it for for this video if there's more developments we'll talk about it just to reiterate fuck cody i don't accept his apology i don't think anybody should accept his apology he held that information very very sensitive serious information to sell tickets to his gig so he's a fucking idiot himself and twitch someone needs to look into what's going on with twitch there's something wrong with that platform there has been for a long time if it wasn't clear before it's clear now